Hey guys, it's David with The Verge, and we're here looking at Apple's new iPhoto app just released. It's a much more powerful photo editing app than anything that's been on the iPad or iPhone before. Uh, and it's, it actually has a lot of the stuff that we're used to from the desktop version. So you can see photos from your camera roll, and you get all your photos over here, plus the one that you're editing actually in the shot. And you get a surprising number of features. You can, and it's all multi-touch based. So you can rotate photos. Uh, you can change some of the colors and white balances and all that stuff. It's actually really full featured. It's kind of hard to do like small changes to things and it ends up being pretty drastic. But you can actually edit almost everything that you're used, that you're used to. Um, and again, it's, it's a fairly broad stroke thing. You can select different parts of an image that you want to edit. Uh, and just by dragging around, you can actually change the effect with brushes or uh, you can actually have it do it automatically. And there's a bunch of filters that do pretty interesting things with your photos. Um, some are more kind of intense than others, but you can always go back really easily, which is nice. You can just remove any effect that you want and go straight back to how you were. Um, so the editing itself is, is really smartly done to work with your fingers. And then there's also a lot of sharing that you can do with the photo. So once you get it the way you want it, you can share it to Facebook or Twitter or iTunes or what have you. Uh, and you can also make a journal, which is pretty cool. So if I add these eight photos to a journal, it makes basically a digital scrapbook. And you can add all kinds of different stuff to your scrapbook. You can, add, uh, you can add maps, and you can add sticky notes, and all kinds of stuff. And then you can share it and actually let people see it in the way that you set it up. So if you have uh, a trip or something like that that you want to add information to and you know, share all about what you were doing, it's, it's a pretty cool way to do it. And anyone with a web browser can use it as long as they have your link. Um, it's, it's a pretty great app. It works really well. We're using an iPad 2 here. Uh, it's pretty fast and should be even faster on the new iPad. Uh, you can sort your photos, and it basically becomes a way to do everything you need to do with your photos on the iPad itself. Uh, it's also available for the iPhone. The interface doesn't work quite as easily but because the screen is so small, but it certainly has all the same features and actually works pretty well. So that's the new iPhoto for iOS. It's available right now in the App Store for $4.99, and you'll need an iPhone 4 or an iPad 2 or later to use it. Thank you.